Hey all, this is Derek and this is section 4.1. It's going to be an introduction to systems of linear equations. So what a system of linear equations or just a system equation is, is when you have two or more equations and what we're looking for is a point or points in future classes um, that satisfy both equations. And so to determine whether or not this point is a solution to the system, all we have to do is plug it into the first one, see if it comes out true plug it into the second one, see if it comes out true. And if it does that both times, then that point satisfies the system. Um, so that's pretty much what this chapter is going to be about. Uh, let me show you how this looks with an ordered point. So again, this is just saying, hey, let's see if it is a solution. So if I put four negative one in here, I get four equals, I do not get that. I get negative one equals one half of four minus three. So negative one equals half of four would be two minus three. So negative one equals negative one. So this point works um, for this line. So that means this is a solution to this equation. If it's a solution to this equation as well, then that would be a solution to the system. So here we'll toss this in. Four plus two times negative one equals negative four. And you can see four minus two does not equal negative four. Um, so this is going to be no, this point does not satisfy both of those equations. Uh, same idea over here. So 3 plus negative 1 does make 2, so it works in the first equation, because so that would be 3 minus 1. And then 3 minus a negative 1 does make 4. So this is, yes, this point does satisfy both of these equations, so it is a solution. So the rest of this section will be um, solving, there's, there's, we're going to look at three methods in this course to solve equations, uh, graphing, substitution, elimination. Uh, so for this section, we'll look at graphing, which is kind of the like least useful of the methods, but it's good for explaining what we're doing. And then we'll pick up the two uh, more useful methods in the next section. So for graphing, um, the first of our three methods. And for all the systems, there's going to be three possible outcomes, along with having three possible ways to solve it. So for our outcomes, we have consistent, which is where it worked. And so if I were to graph the two lines, I'd graph one and the other. And then that point right there where they intersect, that would be the point of solution. So like back in this last example, if you graph these two lines, they're going to cross at three, negative one. Um, so that's an example of a consistent system. Um, if I graph the two lines and then they turn out to be parallel to one another, then they're never going to cross, and so that's called inconsistent. So parallel lines have no points in common, so there's no solution to this. So no solution goes with inconsistent. And then um, if you graph the lines and it turns out they just kind of disguised them and they're actually the exact same equation, and so they give the same line, so you graph the first one and the second one's right on top of it. Um, then there's infinitely many solutions because every single point on this line would be a solution to that system. And then the word that goes for that is dependent. Um, so let's see what that looks like with examples. So for this one, we were supposed to um, solve the system by graphing. So x plus y equals 6. If we're in standard form, I would just do the intercepts because that's the easiest way to get there. So if x is 0, then y is 6, and if y is 0, x is 6. So that would be right here, and I'll attempt to draw a straight line. Sort of. Um, and then y equals 2x. So if I have y equals 2x, I'll just do when x is 0, y is 0. But when x is 2, y would be 4. doesn't matter what two points I pick, just a couple. And then I can also use, um, I can also just use the slope if I prefer to do that. And much easier on the computer, right, because it'll draw nice straight lines for you. So then looking at my graph, it looks like they intersect at 2, 4. So 2, 4 is the point. 2 plus 4 makes 6, 2 times 4 makes 4. So this is the point that satisfies both, both equations. Okay, here you can see these are both in slope-intercept form, and then they both have an intercept, of, or a, sorry, a slope of negative 2 with different intercepts. So you can just look at that and know it's going to be parallel and inconsistent. But just to remind you how to graph using slope and intercept, 
Um, for this first one, the intercept is at three and the slope is negative two. So I'm just gonna go over one, down two, over one, down two, and then try to draw a straightish line. And then for this next one, the y-intercept is at negative one and then it has the exact same slope. So it's just gonna track it forever. So this would look, uh, something like that. And then the parallel, so that's where this would be inconsistent and not have a solution. Okay, and then this last one, um, for the one that's in standard form, I'll just use the intercepts. So if x is zero, two y equals four, so y would have to equal two. And then if y was zero, negative x equals four, so x equals negative four. So that is cat hair. So let's see when x is zero, y is two, and then negative four, zero. So that'd be right like that. And then this one, my y-intercept is at two, and my slope is a half, so it's gonna go over one, up two. I'm sorry, over two, up one, over two, up one. And you can see it's landing right on top of that first line I drew. And so that makes this dependent.